The parents of two sisters murdered on the Texas A&M Commerce Campus in February say they are still waiting for answers about how their daughters died. The family is filing a lawsuit to get the university to cooperate. Fox News' Natalie Solis joins us to explain. Natalie. Well, Clarice, this is the lawsuit before the lawsuit. The family is considering further legal action against the university for potentially failing to keep the girls safe. But they say they can't determine if there are grounds for a lawsuit because, according to their complaint, the university has stonewalled them. It's been a nightmare every single day. Vanessa Calderon and Timothy Matz on life since losing both of their daughters February 3rd on the Texas A&M Commerce Campus. 19-year-old Deja and her 20-year-old sister Abney Matz murdered police, say, by Abney's ex-boyfriend, 21-year-old Jacquez Smith. Her two-year-old son also injured. Deja was enrolled as a student, her sister and nephew visiting, all three in Deja's dorm room when they were attacked. I lay awake every night and I wonder what happened. I wonder how someone was able to get in a secure building, up secure elevators, shoot and kill both of my kids and shoot my grandson. The family says they haven't heard anything from the university since the shootings. University police handled the shooting investigation. They want answers. They want accountability. Answer basic questions. Who was there that night? Who was on patrol? What was the security like? According to the lawsuit, the Texas A&M University System and A&M Commerce may be held responsible for the deaths under premises liability, negligence, and gross negligence standards. But the family's attorney says they can't determine if they should file that lawsuit because despite several attempts to find out more about potential system and security failures, they struggled to get basic information. This lawsuit aims to compel the university to open up. If we do need to go forward uh, with this lawsuit, that we have good, solid uh, evidence as far as what took place that night. And right now, this family has none. In a filed response, the university says it's insulated from litigation on claims that it failed to secure the premises because Smith was neither a student nor an employee of the campus. And it says more broadly, it has sovereign immunity from being sued because it's a state institution. If the school is hiding behind governmental immunity, this isn't what it was built for. It wasn't built to keep from answering questions to parents that lost children. All right, as far as what happens next, the family attorney says they are prepared to do anything and everything within the extent of the law to pursue this, and he hopes to have an idea of next steps by March. Smith is held in the Hunt County Jail on a $3 million bond.